This is the Acer Iconia Tab 8W, a Windows tablet released by Acer back in 2014. And I bought this brand new back in 2016 for less than $100. Let's see what we can do with it today. Just like all other Windows computer with Windows 10, this tablet can have its interface switch between tablet mode and desktop mode. Now this tablet didn't have its Windows 10 right out of the box when it was brand new. It came with Windows 8 and upgradable up to Windows 10 for free. Here we can see that the hardware is obviously not the top of the line hardware, especially for its pricing, but it's surprisingly good enough. It's powered by a quad-core Intel Atom Z3735G processor with base clock speed of 1.33 GHz. It can be boosted using Intel Turbo Boost up to 1.83 GHz. For media consuming, web browsing, and lighter productivity, it's actually not bad. And although, yes, it might take some time loading that basic YouTube video, the screen is pretty good though with a resolution of 1200 by 800 with 62 Hz of refresh rate. And the viewing angle is actually good. You can clearly see it from any direction. Just don't expect to run some graphically demanding apps with the 646 MHz Intel HD graphics card. Most of the games you find in the Windows Store is not going to be compatible with this hardware. In fact, the most compatible game that you can play on this tablet is probably the ones like this. Candy Crush, which came pre-installed for some reason. And even a game of this grade takes almost forever to load. And yes, once you're already in the game, it may have run smoothly, but the back of the device then gets so hot, you won't even get comfortable just holding it and playing the game. So what is it good for then? Media consumption is probably its strongest point in my opinion. Now unfortunately, I wasn't able to test the camera out since the last Windows 10 update somehow caused the camera malfunction. Moving on to productivity, and while yes, you can actually multitask using several apps at once, but doing so wouldn't be as effective or efficient as you normally would be able to on a full-size laptop or desktop, simply because the screen is too small, and you would need to scroll to the side a lot in order to have a readable size text. And also, it doesn't seem to be possible to have three or more tabs side by side. Moving on to the exterior, the plastic bag was actually kind of slippery. So I decided to apply a carbon fiber sticker myself to add some texture and grip. Around the tablet's body itself, there aren't many things going on though. There are only three ports located on top of the tablet, a micro SD card slot, a headphone jack, and a micro USB port, and the power button and volume rocker on the right side. And yes, while you can use a full-size USB on this tablet, you're gonna need either an adapter or an OTG USB. You can also connect an external hard drive, SSD, wireless mouse, or keyboards using either an adapter or maybe using Bluetooth. If you need some more ports though, you can use some USB stations like this one. It's just that having to carry around adapters and cables this many also means a bigger risk of losing them. For outdoor use, you're going to have to crank up the brightness up to 100% in order to be able to use it. And even then, the 300 nit display doesn't feel quite enough, especially under direct sunlight. But overall, for less than $100 tablet, this is totally worth the money for me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. This is Garrett Everything. See you in the next one.